Well, police are calling this a terrifying two-vehicle accident that occurred here on Highway 89, just east of Shelburne, around 3.40 this afternoon. Here's what we know to this point. Two vehicles, one a gravel dump truck, believed to be heading eastbound at the time. The other vehicle, an SUV, heading westbound. At this point, it looks like the SUV may have crossed the center line, crashing head-on with that dump truck. Now, police tell me all three people, sadly, inside that SUV have now died as a result of this crash. Two at the scene, a third person taken to a local hospital. People, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, say what they do. Now we know that the buzzing news on social media, upon the internet, and Rete and Lele is the passing away of actor slash dancehall artist. We are speaking about Louis Rankin, we are speaking about Teddy Brookshot, we are also speaking about Ox. And it was said that he lost his life during a little incident involving a truck and an SUV. Some people, there we have it. This is confirmation. And this is coming directly from the horse's mouth. This is coming directly from the news team in Canada. Some people, you already know the drill, you know the policy. And you understand that this is YouTube. So I cannot post certain videos. However, if you want the full video, you can WhatsApp me and people, if you don't know the number, ask somebody in the comment section. So anyways, we know that Louis Rankin, aka Teddy Brockshot, he is a prolific actor and dancer artist. So apparently he was in Canada filming a movie. So people, I want you to take a listen, take a look at this video and then we'll go from there. So no movie. Another. I'm about to go meet these Colombian give them some of this here yeah. and then go we'll collect a whole lot of drugs get on the boat but me have a little but when they're just I am driving me down <laughs> People, first of all, I want to thank you for the support. So please support my other channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word, Jamaica Dancehall Source. And it is very important for you to subscribe to that channel because I'll be posting videos on that channel and this channel. So people, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Now people, when we speak about top-notch actors, we are speaking about a person that is up there with the best of the best of them. And if he had proper representation or good management, he could have been an A-class actor. Because when we talk about classics, when we talk about cult classics, we have to talk about Billy. We are talking about a movie that was filmed in 1998. And we are also talking about Back to Back. We are speaking about Shutters or Top Shutter. So we see in his performances, he was one of the best in both movies. And people like me say, he is a natural, he is a natural born actor. And not only was Louis Rankin a top-notch actor, he was also a Grammy-winning artist. We are speaking about his song, Typewriter, that was released in 1990. Some people were speaking about a versatile entertainer, point blank and period. And he will be missed. He will be missed by the local people in Jamaica and also internationally. We are talking about in the dance hall space and we are also speaking about in the international place. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that there was a little incident in a Falmouth. We are talked about with a taxi man. We are talked about with a minibus driver. We are talked about with a Jota driver. People, when are these passengers going to learn that you should not support or encourage these maniacs on the road? I am speaking about the drivers that are only interested in making this fast money. So therefore, they must fly down the street like a mad bat out of hell. And more than likely, the law of possibility and probability are that they are going to flip. And when them flip, some people or persons are going to end up D-E-A-D. 
So every day we get up and we hear the same thing over and over, but it seems like they don't learn. It seems like they won't learn. And like Vice Card tells her, when will they learn? When it is too late, it is going to take a miracle for them to change their ways, for them to change their mindset. So anyways, people, take a look, take a listen to our video of an incident that occurred in Falmouth, where I speak out near to Chelani. And remember that this is YouTube, so therefore I have to keep the post them very subtle. And they have to also understand that some of these bloggers are informants, so I don't want them to report my channel. So take a listen, take a look. Hospital in Africa. Yo. So people, you see so people at B-A-W-L, people at thank Jesus to spare them life, Rete and Lele. But at the end of the day, God help those that help themselves. So therefore, if you get up every day and you still encourage or you still support these madmen on the road, then you have to basically look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, why are you risking your L-I-F-E? Why do you put your life in the hands of people that obviously don't care about you? The only thing that they are caring about is the money that they make. So therefore, like me say, they must speed up and down the street like some madman. And more than likely, soon or later, them are going to flip because them lid done already flip point blank and period. So anyway, people, like me say, it seems like on a non learn. So therefore, this is yet another example. And if you guys want the video, just WhatsApp me and know the number. I am not going to say it. Oh, no, it, no, it, oh, no, no, it. Then better ask somebody in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a teacher from the St. Aloysius Primary School we are speaking about a grade 1 teacher and his name is Michael Hope. He has been missing from his home since last week Wednesday. So people today are Tuesday or Wednesday so we are speaking about 5 to 6 days going on to a week. And it was also said that his car was found on the Palisados Highway. So people, we are speaking about the main thoroughfare or the highway or the main road that leads to the Norman Manley International Airport. So therefore, that tells you that there is some foul play involved. We are talking about M-U-R-D-E-R or something close to that. And just based on the fact that he has been missing for in excess of five days, it tells you that the possibility or the probabilities are that he won't be found alive. And just based on what the co-workers are saying, they are saying that he is a good person. He is a very positive person. He is a good educator. He is somebody that is always helpful. And people right now, we are talking about him, the vendor, them, the teacher, them, and also the students. They are distraught. They are out of it. They are out of their minds. Now, people, when we look and see what is going on in Jamaica and see the fundamental problem with lack of education as it pertains to these students, and now we see a good man, we see an educator. So whenever we see a person of high moral standards or ethic falling out, people, it only shows you that it seems like the good always die young. Because when we think about it, look how much idle people, look how much dirty people, look how much bad-minded people are out there and we are losing our next good person. So the moral of the story is this. Once again in the Jamaican news, we see our next person, our next innocent victim passing away or getting missing. And the truth and the fact is that we do not know the impact that this teacher would have had on his student. 
Some people, like we see, it is only going to be to the detriment of the moral values of society and the young people them in a society, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.